Once we finish with all the caption preparation and timing, we can then export files for caption for tape, NLE, and high definition delivery. First, we'd like to show you how to export a new DV file with captions. We select the DV, then we select encode captions subtitles. We select encode captions over here. We make sure our input file is set and then we make sure our output file is set as well. We select finish and then it asks us if we'd like to offset our timecode or if we'd like to start at zero. In this case we're going to start at zero. We press OK. The encoding begins and a status bar appears at the bottom of the screen showing you how long it's going to take to encode your new caption DV AVI file. You can also encode a QuickTime file um, as long as it's in the DV25 format. Once we finish the encoding of the new DV AVI file, we can then print it to tape right within Caption Maker by pressing the DV top menu bar, print DV to tape, select your new AVI file with captions and simply press play. In addition to that we can also capture our DV file using FireWire within Caption Maker. It's important to note that once this DV file has been encoded with the Vox data containing the captions it must be printed using FireWire or a Vox data DV compatible capture card.